Here's the one step flash Polaroid camera. I also have the newer version here. The newer version just includes an extra lens in order to take close up shots, but the exposures work in the same way, having an internal setting as well as an external setting that can be changed on the fly just by moving this slider here. I rebuilt this camera last year because some liquid got inside the sensor here and seized up the whole camera. After cleaning up everything and putting it back together, it worked again. However, this was a photo taken. The photo here was taken outside with the stock setting at the middle for the exposure. I wasn't sure what was going on until I took a look at this sensor and compared it to the other camera sensor. So opening up this exposure setting to the darkest, it opens up the outside setting and exposes the internal setting for the exposure. You can see the little swirls in there of the dial. Previously, I set it at zero, which means that it was completely clear and not blocking out any light, creating a photo like this, which is underexposed. So at first, I thought it was pretty weird that by blocking light, it makes the photo brighter, kind of the opposite of what you would think, until I started doing some more research. So here's the article on retrospect, is just stating that there's a photo cell connected to an IC that controls the timing circuit. Another good source is ifixit.com where they have documentations on teardowns and will help you take apart and rebuild the camera yourself. So here's a close up of the photo cell and you can see it's just like a solar panel, just like what a calculator uses. All right, so I've opened up the front cover of the photo cell. I'm probing the two leads on either side. On the multimeter, I have it set to 2.5 volts. That means if the arm moves all the way across, that indicates 2.5 volts. And so here, if I hit the photo cell, you can see it rise. And then with no light drops, again, it'll rise, drop. This means by using the flash, the shutter is open for a really small amount of time. And without using the flash, the shutter stays open for longer. Here I have the sensor blocked off using aluminum foil tape. So now if I only press the shutter, that's the longest it will hold. At regular settings with the flash activated. So when light goes through the lens, it gets reflected onto the film. And so the longer exposure, where the longer the light is able to hit the film and be absorbed, the brighter the picture will be or the more exposed. There's two things that factor into the exposure of the photo. There's the aperture of the camera and there's the exposure time in seconds. With a Polaroid camera, the aperture stays the same. While the amount of time that the shutter stays open is dependent on how much light hits the sensor. When light hits the solar cell, a positive voltage is created. And so depending on how much light hits the sensor will determine how much voltage is created. The IC reads the voltage and depending on the voltage will send a signal to the shutter for how long it will stay open. Before finding this article, I tried to fix it on my own and these were the results. Here I have the first exposure test. You can see it's underexposed and this was using the stock setting of having this exposure in the middle here. And this was after I moved the dial to 2, so it would allow less light to go through with the flash on, all while being outdoor. In the second test shown here, this was an indoor shot. And again, using the same settings with the same internal setting of 2, you can see again that it's underexposed even with the flash. Next up in the third shot, you can see it's a little bit more exposed. and this was the same shot indoor, but with this slider set about here to a brighter setting halfway. After this exposure test, I realized that blocking more light will create brighter images. And so that brings to the fourth test here. This is the same shot, except with different settings. The internal setting is set at five instead of two this time, while being set at mid for the external exposure setting here. 
On the right side, you can see that you lose a little bit of detail on the white hat as well as the wood grain on the guitar. But in return, you gain the details of the background as well as color within the sweater. So now with this new setting, here's the outside photo. The exposure settings were the same as the exposure test for. So here's the two shots side by side with different exposure settings. You can see the handle right here in this right photo, but not here on the left. And also the green tint of the glass, where the glass here is just all black. You can also see a different range of color within the plants. Right here, the pink is just one single dark pink color, while here the flowers have more white where they shine. And also this little piece of light green, as opposed to this darker green that just meshes in with all this other color. So after finally getting a good setting on the camera, I tried out no flash. And so here was the first test indoor. This was the same shot as the previous indoor right here. There's absolutely no detail, it just came out completely black, meaning that the shutter wasn't open long enough in order to capture the image. Even though the shot didn't work, I still tried outdoor shot. This time I cranked up the exposure all the way up on the external. So here in this photo, the exposure time was longer. And so since I took the photo by hand, I was too shaky. And as I took the photo, I twisted the camera a little bit and you can see that it caused the image to blur. The reason it looks blur is because there are three of the same shot except moved slightly to the left and so this causes the blurring. The shot does have redeeming qualities such as detail within the background here and as well as this shine here on the table base. And as well as the background there's a small reflection here in the window Without using the flash, you retain those natural details created by the natural light. After getting a promising shot outside, I tried again the indoor shot. And again, it didn't capture anything. And so what's going on? Why is this one come out super bright while the inside shot doesn't even show up at all? In order to figure this out, I used my phone's camera and took both the shots using the same setting. I configured the settings specifically for this shot. And now here's the same settings except with the indoor shot. Now when I change the settings in order to accommodate for the indoor shot, this is how it appears outside. You can see it's overexposed. And so even though the indoor shot seems to have a lot of light, the outdoor shot shows that there's a significantly more amount of light outside. And so this explains why the indoor shots never worked while the outdoor shots did. Before taking apart the camera, you want to make sure that there's no film inside. If you have a cartridge that has a couple of Polaroids that haven't been developed yet, you open up the film cartridge using the dark slide that it spits out when you initially put the film pack. You peel back this small protective film. You slide it over top the first undeveloped film. Push it all the way in. Once you have it covered, you're able to take out the whole pack and keep it in the dark room to make sure that no light hits it. Press it all the way down, making sure that the slide is all the way backed in. And you can even slide forward the top slide to make sure that it doesn't bring the top undeveloped film with it when it gets ejected. After you're done making your changes, you can just slot it back in, in the dark room. And you'll spit out the top dark slide and you'll have all the undeveloped film protected. Here's the dial, you can see it goes from zero to nine and the higher the number gets, the thicker the swirl gets. First angle it underneath this little bracket here. Once it's underneath, you just press it. It clicks in. Turning it clockwise will reduce the exposure. And by pressing the bottom and rotating it counterclockwise, it will increase the exposure. The upper latch indicates what exposure level it's at. So here it's pointing at five. And so it's offset so that this exposure over here meets with this number here. The external setting includes lines across that go perpendicular to the spiral and reduce the light 
and so there's thicker lines moving to the right and there's less thick lines all the way to completely moving it out of the way for a darker exposure. That's all basically set, so all that's left to do is put the face plate back on, making sure that the exposure is set in the middle and also the internal set at middle and just slide it in. Making sure that the buttons move freely and then finally pressing it into place. Again, checking the buttons. Finally press it out. There's a shutter, the flash. So that's pretty much it. As always, if you have any questions, please let me know and 